It's called uh, Battle Gaze. That's G A Z E, not the other one. So Tressel, you've teased us, I think, with that uh, Battle Gaze. It's a very interesting name. I'm very interested to hear how they're going to take that gaze, that steely gaze. I met quite a hard man's gaze in a battle, and maybe where you got that inspiration from. Can I tell you a story about my childhood? Please do, please do, yeah. I was all of eight years old. I was watching, uh, oh man, I can't remember, Tom, Tom and Jerry, something like that. Boring cartoon, man, I want action. I want to feel like a man. I'm from Yonkers, New York. From the, the day you're born, you have to learn to stand on your own two feet come from somewhere like I do. So that stuff don't cut the mustard. I, I, I felt like I should walk down the hallway. If that makes any sense at all, I hope it makes ten times the sense that I feel it might do. And I walk down the hallway, I hear this banging, my dad comes out in the, the bedroom, he's banging some broad, he's bashing her brains out, man. That was my mom, he comes out, uh, he uh, opens his dressing gown, his, his dick fucking flops down, man, it's a big meaty wad of hot pepperoni steam pots. Now, I look at this, this, this slick, spotted, thick, steaming, Meat sausage cock. Well, now don't get me wrong, this is the 70s. Things were different then. And my dad had no interest in little boys or little girls or anything like that. Slops down. Slops hanging. Slick dripping heavy dongs. And I have no shame in telling you, I have never admired a man more in my life. I looked up behind him. Behind the steam raising up of his spotted, thick, big, juicy belly, man. That thing looked like an apple that someone had covered in sausage skin. I looked up at him. I could see the stars and stripes behind him. I could see the, eye, the eagles flying high. Nam copters <laughs> flying overhead. The roar, the, the taxis in Yonkers became choppers, man. And I could see a million Millennium monsters, a, little, a million rockets. None of that mattered anymore. And I knew at that point. I had to see this, I had to hold this. Dick, there's big talk, which is a mess. It's so big, it's hard, man. It's so big that it makes it hard because of the weight behind it. There's no sausage out into this. I knew I had to have this in action figure form. And everything I've done up until now has been leading to this moment. And that's why I'm emotional talking to you about it today. You're telling me your new range of toys are going to feature hard cock stiff dicks. Now the philosophy I've got behind all the guys working on the original sculpts in, uh, in our little place in LA, little little uh, room we got above a comic book store where they're sculpting and working on prototypes is hard as fuck dicks that are big massive cocks and that is you know it's the essence He-Man nearly had it. When I held my first He-Man figure in my hand I thought if I could just tap this thing on my forehead and feel a little plastic cock that's really hard, you would have the perfect action figure, right? So, um, yeah, the philosophy is hard as fuck dicks. Now, these guys don't have dicks that are just big. They don't have dicks that are hard. I went, you know I'm jet lagged because I just come back from China. Uh, the guy in the, uh, the factory he said to me, hey, 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 gunmetal, ow! Fucking hell! Oh, that's hard! Mr. Gun, oh, that's hard, man! That's good! That's good! Good to have things that are hard, but Mr. Gun Metal, we can see the 34% on your, on your production if you have the lower half of the body, which is where most of the breast kids, because it's a big pair of legs, these toys are set with, it make it with softer plastic. <laughs> I don't know if you've got Catholic grandmother. But if you ever fought it in church near her, you will know the face that I had on me at that point. I said, buddy, if you think for a minute, I was going to pick this up. I said to him, if this cock is not a massive rock hard dick, if it's not a schlong that is a dick that is hard, if I can, if I can bite this and my tooth doesn't break, I'm going to come back and knock out all yours, so I put every bit of money in, because I will never sell the shit, I will never sell the kids short on cock, I will never sell the kids short on dick, I will be giving them the most amount of critical mass in cock form I can possibly deliver, because that's what I wanted when I was a little shit, a little kid, 
My dick was a small cup. You've brought in some digital files uh, which show... Oh. Now I can almost not say... That show some early 3D rendering of what we're going to be expecting, what we can actually see from the range. Wow. Wow we. These are fantastic. Okay, so can you just run me through maybe some of the main characters you've got, maybe some of the main themes you've got. I mean, I, I'm very excited. I see you've got, you know, almost half a dozen new characters coming out. Okay, so maybe we could start up on the top left here. Who is this? This is a robot okay. character? Okay, um, th this top left one is FRIEND, but it's spelled with a PH. It's, uh, it's an acronym. Uh, it stands for phallic, hyper ended. Neutronic dick, but I, I was also thinking of maybe neutronic droid. But basically, as long as it fits the acronym. So what he's got, he's got a robotic dick for a cock, and his knob is such. His head is a dick. Uh, I'm hoping to have it translucent, like blue or something, like like sci-fi. And he's also magical because uh, he is or he is not just a robot. He's more, you know, I'm teaching kids to think. Is a robot just a laser guy? No, he's got a staff. The staff is a big dick. It's a cock, but it's not like a staff. And I'm I'm pretty proud of him as a concept. He's definitely a he's definitely a keeper. So he's more of a is he more of a companion to to I mean who is gonna be the main guy? Who's gonna be the guy they were all like, I love the look of this character's dick. I wanna get that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, we're not 100%, we've got a lot of guys, I mean, who, who, who is so it? So who's, who's the guy just to the, to the bottom right of him? The bottom right on, uh, okay, oh, right, just underneath, private pump, you're looking at private pump. Yeah, yeah. Here's a guy, right? He's got a penis pump, a cock pump. He started life with an average size dick. Was he happy with that little cock dick? Was he cock, was he balls? No, the larger... The larger cock fits on a normal sized penis dick, and that makes it not bigger, which is great for kids, because they can they can slide it on, and it's bainier, it's harder, it's more robust, and it, it's better to improve life. Fantastic, fantastic, and uh, maybe um, have we got a, a kind of a nemesis for these for these guys? You got a baddie, someone that they can be fighting against? Oh yeah, well, I mean, there's two. They basically got the great character, because I want this to be deep. The not truly villain, he's, he's on their side, but no one likes him. His name's Skipper. He wears a little sailor hat, and he's nabby pamby. His dick is small. So he's like... Hey, so he's down, sorry, just interrupt you. So he's down on the bottom right hand side, and he's down the bottom there. He's in the, he's in the middle, he's just to the right of the middle. Okay, I can see him, I can see his, him. His mouth's big and wide open, because um, no one opens their mouth for him. You know, he, he, is, he is a sucker, in essence. Hey guys, he you mentioned they're on the planet, <laughs> and he's saying, "Hey guys, can I come along and, and battle with you? I want to be strong like you and, and have a big knob hanging down and scraping the planet's surface because it's a knob, it's a massive dick." N no way! And like someone like Max Pleasure, the guy with to, just to the right of him, who looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but his cock's made completely out of helmets. Max Pleasure will be like. No, maybe when your dick's hard enough, because <laughs> the guy hasn't got a very big dick. <laughs> but the real, the real enemy is just to the left of him. We're looking at evil fellow Fax. Oh, I can see him. I can see him just below Private Pump. Yeah. No. He is a mean-looking cock, really. Okay, so let me let me get the story down on fellow Fax. Okay, the name is highly sophisticated because it's like Greek or, or Latin or something like this, and he is basically a big dick. He represents the bully, the boss of work you don't like, but he's got a difference. His whole body is a cock. Now they're not coming on against a, a, a weak foe. They they pride themselves on their cocks being very solid and vascular. And this guy is not only a cock, but he's got a cock with a cock piercing. Uh, attached to his right arm is a cock. And he has a he has a, a special hammer. You can see down the very bottom left of the picture, a special hammer. It's a cock hammer. Not only are both heads of the hammer uh, helmets, but the bottom is a helmet too. So this guy's got one, two, three, four, five, six bell ends. He can smash into the 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 side of the nose or the the mouth section of one of the good guys. Now I see he's also got a a conventional. What is that for a conventional dick? I mean. 
Oh no, it's not a dick. Well, I'm sorry. He, he doesn't have a. He doesn't even have a dick. He's got a little man instead of a dick, cause cause he's a dick instead of a man. So yeah, he doesn't. He can't even. He can't even uh, procreate with that. That's just a guy. Oh my god. He doesn't even want to be there. Oh my he, god. I mean, that's he, yeah, he wakes up in the morning, forgets. He's like, oh help me. Oh, I'm a little man. I'm 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 stuck on a big dick. He doesn't want to be there, and the guys want to help him out. You know, pull him off. No, okay, I gotta admit that I've actually looked at this, this before and um, and told him uh, Trestle, sorry, has showed me through a lot of these before and my favourite is Moses Carcasson. Can we give a little bit of background about Moses? His nipples are cocks. His cock is a big old dick, schlong, knob, uh, Johnson, pe penis, whatever you want to call it. But get this for balls, guess what he's got? Oh, well, I'm hoping you're going to say cock. Two penises that are big cocks. And his shoulder pads are helmets. So this guy is cocking on all fucking cylinders, man. You can't stop him. And I, I wanted to have a strong role model for, you know, kids uh, growing up, you know, of all races, all diversities. Is there anything else you want to say before before you go? There is a concern, a, 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 you know, a problem uh, people have when they think all all this is about is uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, cocks, and dicks, and knobs, and all you know, you know phallic. Uh, he man with dicks. If you think that, you've got a limited imagination. We have barely mentioned cocks in, in the whole of this thing, and I think that's a testament. Listen, when this actually begins to stores, when the kids' minds are open to you know walking around with your dick out and it's rock hard because you got a cock, this is going to be cock, not the bollock. It's going to be a battle for the century dick. Need I say cock?